been thinking. The while I was driving, he talked to me again. What is it? It's about you. And what about me? Sister, I hope what I will say will not annoy you. Say what you have to say. Okay, whatever you say will not annoy you. So say it. Sister Linda, it's touching that all of us, I mean you younger ones are married. Even Nancy is getting married soon. And you, you're not married yet. Marita, are you mocking me or what? Padita! Thank you for insulting me. I'm not insulting you. Please don't be angry with me. I'm very stupid to have said that. Stop insulting me, please. It's not your fault. It's not your sister. I don't blame you. I'm sorry. I can only blame myself. It's the way. It's so raw. Come on. Don't touch me. Get out. Sister. Idiot. She's behaving. I hope she's not frustrated about life. Please, my daughter is not frustrated. Yeah. Then why is she always very unhappy with herself? She's your first daughter. I know. My first daughter ought to be married by now. So I should go and bring a man and force him on her. When you know the kind of person she is. Frank, can yeah. you see? All these things are affecting her. I was talking and trying to play my role as a father. But nobody listened. Why not you? Please, let's go. When we come back, I'll ask her what the problem is. It's all right. <laughs> Before I forget, when did you say my daughter Nancy and uh, my in-law are coming back? Um, in the fortnight. I see. But he's not your in-law yet. He has to wed my daughter first. I know, I know. Why she can see what you do to me, girly I'm not gonna see it all on the telly But I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say, hear me Now hey lady, you grab me nuts with your crazy attitude Make me wanna say, oh my god But you can never say that, shy When you know it's your fault or the girl where you love, sly I've seen all there is for me to see For now I know, now I know All your tricks and games for now I know Baby, let's ready now some things you see Girl, you've just been hurting me, yeah You truly know how to play this game uh, Honey, I'm tired your friends keep telling you how to run our lives, yeah I wanted you to be my wife, yeah I guess that's just how the story goes uh. Now honey, I'm tired I've seen all there is for me to see for now 
seen all there is for me to see for now I know now I know that I'm fed up with all your tricks and games for now I know suddenly you started acting funny yeah why should I be so unlucky, yeah This relationship has made me so unhappy, yeah Honey, I'm tired Thought I would be running to you like before Love you girl, but I can take no more All the love I gave you threw me back no more Honey, I'm tired whoa, whoa, whoa. I've seen all There is for me to see For now I know Now I know Yeah I'm fed up With all your tricks and games But now I know Yeah I've seen all There is for me to see For now I know now I know Specially designed wedding gown worth thousands of dollars from Blooming Girls Bridals. You want to try me? He bought so many other things for dad and mom. This is my cheese bridesmaid's outfit. Check it out. It's out of this world. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't wait for my wedding day. It's just gonna be something else. That day is going to be great. <sighs> What's the problem? Is there any problem? You're, you're cold. Hmm? Could you please lend me $5,000? I have a problem. I need it. Okay. Do you mind if we share the problem first? My new fiancé has a problem in his business and I feel like uh, assisting him. Oh, God. I wish I could just help straight. Anyway, I know I can spare $500 now, but don't worry, I'll talk to Jasper. I'll see how I'm going to get the money from him. Eh? You know he owns all the money. Eh? Nancy? Eh? So, ordinary $5,000 for me to assist my own fiancé so that my own wedding can take place. You refused, eh? You refused. Oh, come on, take your hands off me. How can you expect me to be happy? Hmm? That you, my youngest sister, you are about to be married, and I, the eldest, I'm still loafing around this house. And you expect me to be happy? And you are here telling me about an uh, uh, American made wedding gown. Are you saying all that to spite me, or what? Are you saying it to spite me? Sister Linda, I've told you, God's time is the best. God will damn you are that your wedding. What? No, what did you say? I said God will damn you at that your wedding. Jeez. Selena, are you this heartless? So you're jealous that your younger sister is about to get married? Is it? No problem. Instead of you to be happy for me, you're jealous of me. No problem. Come on, get out of my sight and go back downstairs. No problem. No problem. <laughs> A 
have I done something wrong by advising my own sister privately? I only said to her that before she gets married, she needs to go and pray and ask God to forgive her over her numerous abortions and her infertile womb. Linda, what? If I were jealous like she claims, would I not would I not have told you long time ago that she has a son? But I thank my God. I thank my God that I don't tell lies, neither do I gossip. Linda, um, no, stop crying. No matter what happens, just try and reconcile with her, all right? She, you're older, so forgive her. It could be the tension of all the world in love. Stop crying, Linda, you must apologize to your sister. Not on my life, mom. Over my dead body. I will not. Hello, people. I have to go. Hey, I have to go. Oh, it's all right, my dear. Thank you for everything. Mom, that's it. That's it. You must apologize to her now. Or what you... is your problem, Linda? What is your problem? Why are you fighting your younger sister? Because she insulted me. It's a lie. She's not happy because I'm about to get married. Why are you just getting unnecessarily jealous? Nancy. Nancy, so, so you had the guts to bring up allegations against me? Daddy, that just stop pretending. Enough! Enough! Mom, Daddy you heard her. It's alright. It's okay. I am tired of this insults. I'm no longer going to take this insults from you or the others. You sit down there. Sit down! Why are you being unnecessarily aged? We have three younger sisters are happily married with children. Now that Nancy wants to join them, you want to frustrate all that effort. I will not live to see you achieve that end. Oh, Dad. Is that what you're going to say? Yes. Mom. Mama, please give me some time. I have a lot of things bothering my mind. What is bothering you? Ike Chuku, tell me what is bothering your mind. That you cannot do what others are doing. Since your parents died, I've been a mother to you. I sent you to school because I don't have a child of mine. And you've been my only child. And I know God has blessed you. What is it? Mama. It is not as easy as you think. I am trying my best. Oh, your best is nothing. Mama, I'm only human. I say your best is nothing. Put your might into it and you will succeed. I pray that I succeed. Work harder and you will scale through in Jesus' name. God, you have heard what my mother has said. Let it be done according to thy wish. Yes, oh. My no. name, okay. My name is Grace. And by the grace of God, you will scale through. No. And I believe God for that. Yes. I thank you, Mama, for understanding at last. Yes. Ah. <laughs> then why don't you stay back and take your dinner? Uh, come on, Mama. <laughs> Must you feed me all the time? Oh, yes, because you're my baby. <laughs> I have no other child. You're my baby. Look, I will come in tomorrow to see you, okay? I, I just got back from the office and I got changed and said I should come and see you. That's why you should eat. <laughs> because I know you've not eaten since morning. And you have no wife. So, Mama, I will come in tomorrow and see you. What's happening to my driver? 
Did you tell him when to come? We got here together. I just asked him to go and fill my car. Oh, don't worry, you will soon come. He will soon come. He knows I have to rest and do some work. Your sister is very lucky. She's so lucky to have grabbed such a rich, handsome man for a husband. Hey, I'm not surprised. Because that girl has always been a good girl. She's a good girl. She's always been a good girl right from when I knew her. I mean, unlike both of us that are spots right from our mother's womb. May God forgive us for our wayward life. So, that girl's wedding is going to be talk of the town. Hey, I am jealous, so. Oh, girl, I'm jealous. Rose. That wedding will not take place. What? Linda. Are you dreaming? No. What are you talking about? Are you out of your mind? I am cool. But take it from me, what I've just told you. I wish I could. I wish I could. Rose, do you realize that out of my four younger sisters, three are married with kids? Sure. And Nancy is about to join them? Yeah. Good. If I dare allow Nancy get married, I will rot in my father's house. One, men will attribute my inability to get married to my character and wayward life. Two, young men will stop tripping to my father's house since all the fresh and young animals have left the animal's kingdom. And where will that leave me? I am living in my father's house because I want to get married. Not because I can't afford to move to a good place of my own. I am staying right there so that somebody can come there and marry me. So tell me, where will that leave me? I guess you are right. But, Linda, come to think of it. Whose fault is it? Whose fault is it? I mean, you had the whole world to, to get married when it was still on your side. It's, you blew it up. Yes, you did. You scared me with your high standard of living. Playing hard to get. Making selections of whom to talk to and whom to snob. Going for the rich and making mockery of the poor. Now look at it. And you totally forgot that that time was passing. You forgot that real suitors are like snakes in monkey shadows. And look at where, where it has gotten you. Now you're complaining. Huh. You see? See who is talking. What about you? I can see that you are very, very married. See the pot calling the kettle black. But of course I'm engaged. Oh yes, I am hooked. I am about to get married, my dear. <laughs> Sixth about to. Oh. My dear, this time around, it must surely come to pass in Jesus' name. It must, it must come into manifestation. You will see. Anyway, you have hope. But I have none. Rose, all I'm trying to say is that I need your help. I want you to help me. I need your support. I can't afford to let Nancy get married. Can't you see? Not after the kind of insult that that little chit Padita passed on to me, calling me an old cargo, relegated to my father's house. What? You mean she said all that? Oh, she said more than that. Oh my God. She said all of them are married with children and Nancy is about to join them and me, I am now a castaway, left to rot in my father's house. Hey, yeah. Uh... No wonder. I can see where you're coming from. No wonder you're so bitter. Ha! Huh. If it were me, I would know. 
take it lightly. That's why I have to deal with Nancy. Uh -uh. I, will, I, I must deal with Nancy. What insolence? Ha! Huh. These younger ones. These younger sisters. I don't blame them. God. God. Give us our own husband, Sue. Give us our husband. Hmm. These younger sisters, eh? Letter bomb. And who are you? I'm Don Clifford. The content of this letter is chiefly peace. 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 Dear Jasper, the wife you are about to wed on 21st belongs to someone else. So do not double cross, or you will step into the lion's den. But there is a solution. Come to the Cardinal Gardeni Kaja for one-on-one -on -one dialogue. You are 100% safe, so do not involve the police. The wedding will be only old if you comply. Will fail if you don't. The choice is yours. Yours, don't give up. Did you just see the guy that left my house? I just came in and walked out. Dark shades, big guy. I didn't see anyone. Jasper, I've come to apologize to you. I'm truly very sorry for all what I said about my sister Nancy. I didn't mean to hurt her. I shouldn't have said those things. I'm truly sorry, please. Forgive me. Oh, thank you. At least you're saying that they're all lies, right? Of course, yes. You mean everything you said is the truth? Somehow. Help me here, okay? I mean... What's the truth? Okay. But you must promise me first that whatever I say to you will not affect your wedding and it will not separate you and my sister. Jasper. Oh, Nancy. Nancy was deceived by her secondary school boyfriend. She must believe that she never meant for it to happen, but she had a son for him. The boy traveled to the U.S. while she kept the child in the custody of an orphanage. But, you see, my quarrel with her since then is that instead of her to have learned from her past mistakes, she just kept on doing boyfriends here and there 
and kept on having abortions every month. Till that... Till that fateful day when she tried to abort a seven-month-old pregnancy. Can you just imagine that? A seven-month-old pregnancy? Nancy. And since then, she's kept on going from one laboratory to another having tests. Even before you people traveled out to the U.S., she went for one of those tests. But the results keep reading the same thing. Negative, negative, negative. How, how am I supposed to believe this? Oh. But you can always take her for a lab test. And so that you don't think that I am a liar, I promise to take you to the orphanage so that you can see her child. After all, you're marrying her. The least you could do is meet her child. And your parents, they, they know about all of this? How? My mom and dad traveled abroad to the United States for over a year to see my eldest brother who lives in the United States. And as long as I leave, Nancy's secrets, her child and her subsequent abortions will always remain hidden to my parents. Well, Linda, I think you better add this. Tell me the truth now. JP, I don't I don't know what else to explain. I told you my sister, she wasn't herself that day. Okay. Maybe you, you invite her in my absence. I'm sure she will tell you the truth. You know, if if it were possible for me to get pregnant for you in one week. For this wedding, I will do that. But we can't do it in a week. Okay, maybe you take me to a doctor to confirm. All right. What about the three year old child?
They don't know anything. They don't know anything. Oh, come on, be a man. Look, with this, I, I don't think I need to go pay those guys anymore. Jasper. Come on, Jasper. Remember you promised me that you won't let anything come between you and Nancy. You're saying that with all of this, I should still go ahead and do the wedding? Of course. Nancy is my beloved sister. I don't want anything to disrupt her wedding plans. It's all about dialogue. You have to go and see them, talk to them, pay them. I mean, get into the car. Jasper, that is how it happened, you know. Since my men are here, they bear me witness. Domino, is it not true? Exactly. Last couple, is it not true? Yeah, bro, see. So what am I supposed to do now? The compensation is 200,000 Naira cash. You have to bring it here within 24 hours. And don't involve the police. And if you do! Look, I'm not going to deceive you. I don't have 200,000 Naira. I can pay 100,000. No, I'm not going to take 100,000 Naira. No, let's leave him. No, I got money for passing bags. Let's make do with that. No, mate, let's leave him, man. You're lucky, no? Why should I should leave you alone? You can go now. Go. Peace, y'all. Peace. Peace. Three days to the wedding and things are not going my way. What should I do? I am confused. Should I forgive Nancy and pay the ransom even without telling her? Yeah, that's what I'll do. Uh-oh. What about the child at the orphanage? Now that is a big problem. And what about her infertility? Unconfirmed. Well, okay. That will determine this wedding. What I do hold or not will be determined by high infertility. So, Doctor, here we come. Look. 
truly why she can see what you Now, I didn't see you again at the outside Jasper's office as you talked. I'm just coming from there now. Linda, just listen, listen, okay? Listen. I overheard Jasper telling Nancy that they have to go to the safe house hospital first thing tomorrow morning to see the doctor. So, please, just, just, just rush now to, to the hospital. Yes, make sure that you go and stop lab attendants and the lab uh, scientist before they get there. First thing, they said first thing tomorrow morning. Yes, no, I'm, no, I'm not going. I'm not going back there at all. No, you didn't know that I came. Yes, I was in, uh, okay now. Call me later, okay? Just call me. Bye bye. Yeah. My name is Ike. I am Nancy. Nancy? Yes. The name is as cool as the bearer. Thank you. Thank you very much. And so, what does Nancy do? Okay, Nancy just finished from school and she just came back from US where she went to shop with her fiancé. Your fiancé? Yes. So you're about to be married? Yeah, I'm actually waiting for him, yeah. That's nice. Thank you. So what's the name of this guy? I call him JP. His friends call him Jasper. Jasper. Uh, uh, please, I, 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 do, I, I don't know if, if, if you don't mind. I, if you can help me with some money for transport fare. I, I really don't have uh, much of it. Don't have any. Okay, I'll let me see. I don't. I don't really have much here. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. You said your name is I. I, yes, I. Thank you. Take care of yourself. All right. 
That guy must be happy man. Please take care of him. I'm here. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. Okay, take care of yourself. Nancy, your sister Linda will never change. Did you see one young man that just left? She won't when I was just talking to me. He's wearing a slippers. Yes. If you see what Linda did to him, I mean, she was so rude. She's so embarrassing that even myself I became ashamed. Sister Linda, when is she going to stop all this? Eh? What was the problem now? Sister, I was so ashamed. Um, anyway, Jasper is not here. I don't know what's keeping him. I just called him now. I'm sure he did when he's here. Let's go. Hi. Hey. What's up, girl? Let's go. She can see what you do to me, girly I'm not gonna see it all on the telly But I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say, hear me Now hey lady, you drive me nuts with your crazy attitude Make me wanna say, oh my god But you can never say that, cha When you know it's your fault or the girl where you love Slack like, I've seen all there is for me You know that for some time now, I have been looking for a girl to marry. Mm, a yeah. good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, have you found one? I saw one. Hmm? A damsel. Really? This girl is the most beautiful girl I have ever set my eyes on. <laughs> the kind of girl I would like to marry. <laughs> I'm very happy for you! <gasps> At last! That's the problem. That's the problem! Yeah. That girl is already engaged. What? I pretended as if I am poor. You know the normal way I behave when I want to, you know? Yeah. So that any girl that sees me, if she likes me, I will know that she's not after material things. Exactly, exactly. I approached the first one. And she snubbed me big time. Okay? Yeah, yeah. I summoned courage. Good. Trust your guy now. I do, yeah. I went to the second one. This one had pity on me. And even gave me transport fee. Wow. Then that girl must be Mother Teresa. <laughs> I fell in love with her immediately. And you know, since then, I have never slept without seeing this girl in my dreams. I understand exactly how you feel. See. You should tell this girl, I mean, you could convince her to leave whosoever she has been engaged to. No, okay. Huh? No. Look, such a girl is sincerely in love with whoever she's engaged to. Oh, God. 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 Why didn't I see this girl since? I can assure you, God is going to give you a wife soon. 
You know, that's what my mother is always saying. Oh, come on. Let's leave that for now. Come on, offer me something to drink. <laughs> you and drink. I am talking about something serious. You what else? If not drink. Come, come. Let me ask you. Your woman. How is she? I've never, I've not seen her in a while. Oh, man. That girl is killing me. She's my everything. I mean, she's my angel. She's the queen of my heart. In fact, let me tell you something. You know how a child behaves when the mother returns from the market, huh? Good. Now, that is exactly what my heart does each time I set my eyes on her. You know, sometimes I wish I were lucky like you. Come on, I said I did. There's something to drink, man. Oh my god, we can't let you up, eh? From now on, Adashi Nancy, go ahead and wed her. She's all yours. Happy wed luck. is not hopeless. Good. In other words, chances are we can make babies. We, we would like to come and treat her immediately and speak to her. That would be nice. Uh, the door will be open for you. Thank you very much. There is no need for that. That stupid boy Jasper called me on the phone to tell me that the wedding has been cancelled. What? Yes, Jasper has cancelled you. He just called me on the phone to tell me that the wedding is cancelled. Can you imagine that? Oh, no! Oh, God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Why now? Why? Why? The wedding is over! Even you said no! Go and remove your cloth and forget about that stupid boy! I am going right away to see that stupid boy! He cannot disgrace me like this! Hey! What's going on? Why? 
can't see what you do to me, girlie I'm not gonna see it all on the telly But I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say, hear me Now hey lady, you drive me nuts with your crazy attitude Make me wanna say, oh my god But you can never say that, cha When you know it's your fault or the girl where you love slack I've seen all there is for me to see for now I know Now I know With all your tricks and games for now I know Baby, let's try it now some things you see Girl, you've just been hurting me, yeah You truly know how to play this game uh, Honey, I'm tired your friends keep telling you how to run our lives, yeah I wanted you to be my wife, yeah I guess that's just how the story goes uh. Now honey, I'm tired I've seen all there is for me to see But now I know, now I know All your tricks and games for now I know Suddenly you started acting funny, yeah Why should I be so unlucky, yeah This relationship has made me so unhappy, yeah Honey, I'm tired I thought I would be running to you like before oh, yeah. Love you girl, but I can take them all oh, All the love I gave you true we back them all oh, yeah. Honey, I'm tired oh, oh. Hello Jasper We have been to your house for more than 10 times Yet you refuse to see us all I want to let you know is that Nancy has been in a critical condition for four days now because of your act. My family and I want you to give us one good reason why you treated my daughter that way and disgraced myself and my family on a day that is supposed to be a joyful day to us. Hello? Jasper. Jasper! Jasper! Can you imagine this stupid boy? He called the phone on me. Oh, Daddy, I've told you several times, so forget Jasper. I mean, but you refuse to listen. I told you the man is a heartless guy, and God is going to pay him back in his own time. You'll see. Jasper, I, Mr. James. Okay. Now you go to the hospital. I'm sure uh, Nancy will be hungry by now. Go and uh, take over from your mother. Alright, I'll be. Okay. Here before me. She left four hours ago. Children of this days. It's only God that will help us. Uh, Thank you so very much for taking good care of my staff. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. That was why we took the Hippocratic oath to save lives. Um, Ike, as I will ask you, is high time you got married? 
We are comfortable. What's the problem? Doctor, please can we keep this for another time? I hope you are not a playboy. For well, these playboys know how to break girls' hearts. There's this patient of mine, Nancy, that got disappointed on the day of her wedding. She never knew she was dating a playboy. That's really sad. That's very sad. <laughs> but wait a minute, doctor. Did you see Nancy? Yeah. <sighs> you know, there's this Nancy I ran into some time ago. I think by now she should have been married. Because as at the time we met, she was uh, about to be married. I don't know about that. Anyway, can I see this uh, Nancy at least to sympathize with Why not? You're welcome. Please. Ah, doctor. Yes. Doctor. We're here. Ah, my patient Nancy. Good afternoon, my Good afternoon, my son. Good afternoon, What's the matter with her? My Hi. son, she has not been herself since the day her fiancé disappeared <coughs> on her wedding day. She has been like this. Doctor, please. Do take good care of her. Whatever amount of money they must have deposited to you, do refund it back to them. Oh, hey, that's kind of my you. son. <laughs> ah, thank you, thank you. Uh, God will bless you. Thank you very much. Hey. What's your name? I think Naji. Mom, Dad. What kept you? You are supposed to be here before me. Mom, Dad, you won't believe it. Can you believe that our taxi got hit by Mercedes Benz from the back and the police just came and dragged all of us along with the driver off to the police station. To my greatest surprise, they detained all of us there till now. I'm just feeling there. Linda. Oh, but daddy, why are you looking at me as if you don't believe me? Don't you know the kind of policemen we have in this country? Anyway, this is the thing. No. This is it. How is she? Excuse me, I've been on the mix somewhere. No. Are you sure? I don't think so. Mom, um, Dad, excuse me, I want to get something. I'll be back shortly. Okay. Anyway, uh, please, Doctor, like I said, do take good care of her. I will. Okay. Okay. I'll take care of everything. Okay. Don't, don't stress yourself. Thank you, my son. Ah, God will reward you. God will bless you. It's not Help. Let's get back to my office. All right. Take care of Thank you. Please. Take care Thank of her. It's a pleasure. I'm coming right. shortly. Yeah, please oh. take care of her. Thank Let's What can I do for you? Are you Are you mad? Because it's only a madman that can do what you did to my daughter and care. What I did to Nancy? Oh, let me tell you. Your daughter is the most wayward woman I ever met. You must be a devil's incarnate. My daughter is fine in the hospital because you disappointed her. And you don't even care to visit her. Why should I? Why should I visit her? <laughs> She's only reaping the, the, the fruits of, of, of the seeds that she had sown. Let me warn you. If anything happens to that girl, mm. I will tell you how powerful women are. Oh, you came to warn me. See that brother that came through? I think you better start going back. If you have the God, touch me. Don't make me push you out. You heard what I said. Do it. Okay. Build your own house here. 
It's the Cry and let your arrow go straight to my lover's heart for me. Mercy, thank you, mercy, mercy, mercy. <laughs> thank you, thank you, appreciate it, appreciate it. Wait, thank wait, you. wait, wait, my turn, my turn. Okay. <clears throat> Breathe and exercise. <gasps> Beyonce? <laughs> okay, no, Beyonce? No, 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 Beyonce. Okay, um, <clears throat> wherever I say, mm -hmm. wherever I did at the minute, I just want you back for good. Want you back, I want you back, I want you back for good. But I didn't go anywhere before. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, I didn't go anywhere. Wait. You see, you want me to Wait. Go? Okay. Wherever wait. you say, just some of the song gonna sing it. You'll be right here on the stool. Want you back. I want you back. I want you back for good. I repeat, but I didn't go anywhere <laughs> before. Oh, merci, merci, Thank merci. you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Good night. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, the guy, the guy who left you, mm -hmm. he was not just heartless, he was an idiot. Well, it's his loss, because this is my gain. Shall you just know what he lost? But I know. 
<laughs> you know what? I just want to thank you for giving me back my life and happiness. That which is shattered. Thanks. You're welcome. A dream come true. Remember that uh, young man you met in the hospital? The one that insisted that uh, she must pay, I mean, he must pay the hospital bill. Yes, I remember him. Uh -huh. He even gave me uh, 100,000 naira. But, Daddy, are you sure that's the same man whom you said owns many companies? Oh, yes, he's, he's the one. He's the one. I take it that God has sent him to come and uh, wipe away Nancy's tears. I'm telling you, he's even whispering to me. How do you mean? So you don't even know that all this why we have been... Uh, don't you like him? Oh. Yes, of course. Uh, yeah, of, yes, I do. I, yeah, I think it's wonderful. Oh, it's, yeah. uh, I think it, uh, that's exactly what Nancy needs right now. Yes, yes. God is great. At least you have to thank God that uh, <laughs> everything is taking place. Uh, let me now go inside and uh, rest. You can come in later. We'll continue tomorrow. Okay. okay, Daddy. Good night. Good night. Uh, so these guys. So these guys. Rich. So rich. I shouldn't have neglected him. But why is it that? Why is it that my attitude keeps causing me such great misfortune all the time? I feel like asking you if you're out of your senses. Do you at all consider settling down with a man? Or are you considering that your relationship with your with, with, with Jasper will lead to will lead to marriage? Considering your younger sisters will deal with him? That is your dream, my dear. 
then consider yourself a failure. Yes. It's a taboo, my dear. It is wrong. Totally wrong. Honestly, Rose, I am confused. I am totally and completely confused. I think something is wrong in my life. Do you know that every man wants to sleep with me and none of them wants to marry me? Look at me. Just look at me. Age is no longer on my side. Do you remember that guy we saw at the shopping complex the other day? The one we met? Yes. That, 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 that wretched, poor church rat. He's not poor. He just deceived me. Do you know that that guy is very rich? How do you mean? He's very rich. And can you believe that that same guy is talking about marrying Nancy? It's a lie. Jesus Christ. Why is it that, that young girls of these days do not allow their elder ones to marry first, just as it was in the olden days? Why? Just, just imagine me. Look at me, look at me, Linda. I'm not beautiful. Eh? Can you imagine that my two younger ones have all long been married? While I'm, while I'm still here, I'm about to. Every time I'm about to. Eh? It's not their fault. This is becoming embarrassing. This is a great this this has become become a great concern to my to my to my family. Eh? It's not their fault. You know, especially in Nancy's case, it's not her fault. It's my fault. I was hard and rude on that guy that day. Because I thought that he was poor. And see where it has gotten me now. Just see where it has gotten me to. See where it has gotten me. Anyway, you can't eat your cake and have it. I must stop that wedding. I will stop that wedding. Linda! Linda! Again? Of course! Ah. Can't you see? Can't you see that I can't allow Nancy to get married? If I don't stop her wedding with Ike, then the whole purpose of my having stopped her wedding with Jasper would have been defeated. I will still be abused. I'll still be scorned. I'll still be humiliated for being the last one left in my father's house. No. I will not be the last person left in my father's house. You just think about it. I won't. I won't. For all the same, I still think that your relationship is just Oh, come on! Rose! Don't tell me that! Don't tell me that! Don't, 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 don't just... I Um, Adita, she's my eldest sister, she's married with two kids. Hi. I'm pleased to meet you, madam. Yes, yeah, my pleasure. Please sit down. Um, well, actually, my sister brought me here to thank you for being there for her. Especially when she was in the hospital. My pleasure. Yeah, thank you. You see, 
Your sister is a very special person. I fell in love with her the very first day I set my eyes on her. Really? I mean, if it were possible, I, I would have kidnapped her that very day and, and wed her immediately. Oh. <laughs> Nancy is every man's dream. Oh, did Tesla realize that? That criminal. He doesn't know what he has missed. Anyway, pardon me to say, I have to tell you something actually. I care is a very funny guy, so really? don't just listen to anything he tells you. Wow. Do you know that the first day I met him, he made me believe that he's a pauper, as in, <laughs> I actually gave him transport fare to go home, wow. not knowing that he's this comfortable, so oh. don't just believe whatever he tells you, don't. Oh, that's why girls should not look at money first before accepting any money. Anything can happen, you know. Ah, I almost forgot. At least what do we offer you? Oh, anything that I call it. Come on, Nancy. Some yeah. wine, please. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so welcome. is it busy, huh? Mm -hmm. And how is the family? He has shown so much interest in our daughter, Nancy. Many words. I don't want any other man to come and put my daughter on the job. Again. After what just my to her. Well, uh, let's leave the matter for now. But all I know is that what will be, will be. Huh? Yeah. Uh, did you cook the okazi soup? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, get it ready. I will join you. wrong with what you are doing. Just when you are surprising me. How can you after dumping Nancy, you are now going out with the elder sister? Is that not a shame? Why, why did you come here? Are, are you my pastor? Or what? Just why you need deliverance. Yeah. When you finish your own deliverance, then you should come get me. i 
told you, and I'm saying it again, that girl is a girl I want to marry, period. And I am telling you that you will not marry her. Oh, well, it's rather unfortunate because I have made my choice. That choice is not acceptable to me. How can you marry a second hand? A Tsukuma as a wife? Oh, who about my dead body? Mama, how can you talk like this? Listen, Mama, whatever that happened was never her fault, Mama. Then it is my fault. It is my fault. Imagine a girl that her husband dumped her on her wedding day. He's the girl you want to bring into our family? No, Mr. Lover Boy. Mama, if only you know Nancy too well. If only you know her too well. Look, Nancy's a good girl. You, you go you... and tell that to the bed. If she's a good girl, why did her husband divorce her on her wedding day? Why? I, please, don't bring shame to me. Neither your parents in the grave, please. Mama, <sighs> I see you have made up your mind. I see. But Mama, hear this. It is either I marry that girl or nobody. Nobody. So you've grown to challenge me. You've grown to challenge me? Have you forgotten that? I picked you up when you were a kid, when your parents died. Is it because I don't have a child of mine? Could you do this to your parents? Hi. Why? Oh, Mama, this is an emotional blackmail. I mean, oh, you. Please call it whatever you like. Call it. I'm going. When you come back to your senses, I know 
he will look for me. Good day. Mama, I Mama, Mama, come back. Look, I brought you to come and help me arrange something. Arrange what? I am not doing anything. I'm not arranging. Do whatever you like. I am going. What, Mama? Mama, what are you? Mama. <laughs> It's nothing. It's nothing and you're like this. It has nothing to do with you. Baby. Do you know whatever affects you affects me too? Uh, tell me, what's the problem? Did I, did I do anything wrong? Nancy. Look, don't walk yourself up. This thing. It is not something you should worry about. Okay. <laughs> now that you're here, at least <laughs> that has made my heart lighter. Come on. No, no, baby, it's not working. If you don't tell me, that means you don't love me anymore. Why don't you just come out straight and tell me that? Okay. Okay. <sighs> A business partner of mine just annoyed me. I gave that fool an LPO and he's now telling me stories. Stories! Stories! Oh, God. Baby, hey. Hey, take it easy, okay? Can, can, can you imagine the fool? I know how you feel. It's okay. <sighs> now, have you eaten? Eating? I mean, how can I eat with that? Look, I have lost my appetite. <sighs> okay, fine. Fine. You know what? I know how best to make you gain your appetite back. Trust me. Hey, don't pretend you're just come on. Come on, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Now when you come, you're on. Oh. <laughs>
Like I told you outside, my name is Ike. I, I came to see you because of Nancy. What about Nancy? She told me everything. Everything she went through. And how you abandoned her on her wedding day. So I decided to come and see you and to hear from you. In other words, you're here to interrogate me. No, not at all. I, I only came to listen to you so I can make up my mind. About what? Not to worry. It's rather personal. All right, gentlemen, or whatever your name is, I think you have overstayed your welcome. So you can You're asking me out? Exactly so. Hear this. Mm -hmm. From what I have seen, that girl never deserved the treatment you gave her. You know what? Because of that, I will take care of her. Unfortunate that you never appreciated the priceless jewel you had. <laughs> Hear me out. I am going to marry that girl. See? I am going to marry Nancy. Keep you bet. <laughs> three, three happy chairs. Nonsense. So the man who wants to marry Nancy. We shall see. to marry Nancy. If he if he I can see you're dressed up to leave My lady, give me your ears I'll say there's one time and one time only but These things I say to you, they never occur to me That all this time you were loving me, I was loving someone else I be girl, it's unfair to you But if I can turn by the hands of time, I swear to God I'm Nancy I, I hope you don't mind. No, 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 at all. Can I ask you this question? Yeah, what? How did you meet that man, Jasper? I met him at my friend's place, Angela. He came looking for Angela's brother and we met. Then he, he was the first man that showed me what true love should be. That is after the guy that does virgin me broke my heart. 
I mean, knowing the kind of person that man is, why did you agree to marry him? But he, he wasn't like this. He, I don't know, he just suddenly changed. No. No, Nancy. Look, you didn't know that man too well. And that's why he succeeded in deceiving you. I knew he meant well for me initially. Until. That man that I saw. He is an unrepentant brute. The man that you saw? Yes. He is arrogant. Mischievous. Full of himself. God. So, where did you see him? I went to his house. But you never told me you were going to embark on such mission, now. Look, never mind, Nancy. I wanted to see the man that had the heart to hurt an angel like you. So, what did you find out? That it was a mistake in your life. Not your kind of person. Listen, that man will never get a good wife in his lifetime. I mean it. Yes? Can I ask you a question? Sure. Go ahead. Why do you love me this much? <sighs> there are a lot of girls. But girls how do you mean? You see, it is when you are looking for a wife, a woman, to marry, that you will know that it is difficult. So do you expect me to believe that? You see, I have been looking for a wife for a very long time. And now that I have found one, and that person? It's not acceptable. Yes. Well, the ten thousand dollars I sent to both of you is what I have. Mm -hmm. It is not acceptable. You can give it away. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because I already have what I want. You fixed the lab results of my sister Nancy, and that is it. You can't change it anymore. So suit yourself. The way you want it. Yes. You Problem. can't change it. Problem. So suit yourself. Thank you very much. Bye.
Tai Wu. Tai Wu. Mr. Ice. Hey. Oh, oh God. Nice God. 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 So Mr. good. Ike. So are you, Mr. Ike? You are the one I am to see. Yes, I am, Mr. Ike. Quite a long time. You're looking quite healthy. Ah, thank you, thank you, Tai Wu. You, you're okay. You're doing well too, thank I mean. Thank you very much. We give thanks to God. No, Tai Wu. I came to see you. Problem? Yes, thank you, thank you. Yes. I hope there's no problem, Tai Wu. I got a text message that the girl I want to marry has primary infertility. Meaning that she can never bear children of her own. And that if I doubt it, I should come and see one um, Dr. Taiwo of uh, Dozak Hospital. And so I came here. Mr. Ike, who is this lady that you want to marry? Nancy or Foley. Yes, I know your Foley's. I'm their family doctor. Nancy came here with one Mr. Jasper for infertility test. And the result of the infertility test was negative. As a friend, IK, I want to advise you to, to go ahead with the marriage. She has an infertility problem. She won't be able to give you a child. I'm saying this because you are a friend and your future matters to me. I want to thank you for the information. I will, I will go ahead with the wedding. It is God that gives children, not man. No medical part. Excuse me. This is a, I. Mm -hmm. Your father in? Yes, I see, but he's getting ready to Okay, come I'll in. wait for him outside. Let's go inside. I'm not coming inside. Whatever it is, we to go inside, please. Do you want to know why I've come? Leave my son alone. You are a cast girl. Leave my son alone. He can't marry you. A girl that was drawn on her wedding day by the husband. Don't you know you are evil? Don't bring your evil into my son's life. He's only child I have. Can't you hear me? Please, me and I out there, go to them. I don't want to see you with my son again. Do you have your ears? Get it. And give this message to your father and your mother too. Please, stay clear from my son. A word is enough for a wife. I heard someone shouting here. Who was that? It's Ike's mother. Ike's mother? What does she want? She came here running up uses of me. She said I should leave her son in law. That I cannot marry me. I'm cursed. Nancy, you are not cursed. You are not. I know it will be all right. Okay? Now, let's go in.
<laughs> okay, my man. Yeah. <laughs> God. Today is the day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy for you. Uh, you can Woo. say that again. <laughs> Oh, but wait, 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 wait. Ah, ah, ah. Let me speak to my woman. Ah, shoot. Take it easy. Ah, Take it it easy. I think I am getting married before you. It's cost to me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Hello. Ah, Nancy, darling. Oh, you need to see that I am You're still dressing up. Your, eh? You know, we should be in, in church in the next 30 minutes. See you later. Bye bye. All right, baby girl. Mm. I love you. Mm. Ah. Yes, sir. Ah, eh, uh, Ekene? Yes, sir. Have you taken the other car outside? The car is outside, sir. And they have been decorated? They have been decorated, sir. Look, look, look. The drivers are on standby. Hmm? Yeah, outside, sir. They're ready. Okay. 30 minutes time. We should be in church. Okay. Ask my mom. Please tell them to worry. These women, eh?
And then I'll serve you. You just want me to stay here and... Yeah, I'll do the serving. And you know what? I am serving you right in bed. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm at your service, yes. boss. That's it. I want to spend the rest of my life loving you. Just you. I'll be right back. I'm waiting. Yeah.
Hmm. What about that business you spoke to me about? There's only the dollar one? In my life. I've not paid you any money yet. All greens. <laughs> You do. Yes. <laughs> and you know what? What? I love you too. <laughs> you do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Just for. Yeah. Guess what? What? Do you remember that guy, Ike? The one who almost married my sister? Yeah, yeah. The one that got shot. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's dead. Yeah, he died immediately after he was shot, right? No, he was rushed off to a London hospital. That's where he died a few days ago. Oh, you mean he didn't die immediately? Yes. Oh, well, thank God. You know, that would have happened to me exactly if I had married his sister. Yeah. Well, thank God I called up the wedding and got up that relationship as fast as I did. Those, those brutes, those idiots. Yeah. Huh. My sister, her past wayward life is causing her a lot of misfortunes. And you are one damn lucky guy. I know. But you know, I should have gone for you from day one. From jump start, you should have been the one. But I'm still on the right track, right? Of course you are. <laughs> Oh, Jasper. Oh. <sighs> I have something very interesting to tell you. I'm all ears. I am pregnant for you. Are you okay? Yeah. Aren't you happy that I'm pregnant for you? I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jasper. I'm gonna have your baby. Tell me, why must I calm down when she's owing me? Listen, Clifford. Don't Clifford, please. Oh, please. Uh, don't Clifford. Listen. I invited you here in the first place so that we can iron this thing. Iron what? If she doesn't pay, I will spill the beans. What? Yes, I will do it. Do you know the implications of this? Doesn't she know the implications before she refused to pay my palace? She thinks I'm a mugu. Huh? Just like what she did to the lab attendants. Man. No, it's not my business. I've been paid for that. I'm doing my job. Right now, I'm going to see Jasper to reveal all the secrets to him. Yes, I'm going to see him, definitely. I'm going. Stop by the office so we can drive by the beach and watch the sunset. I'll call you back. What are you doing? I thought we'll 
business. So I know where I'm here. Good afternoon, Good afternoon. I have three important things to say. Yeah. See? Nancy was never my girlfriend. The child of the orphanage never existed. She asked me to kill Ike. Who asked you to kill Ike? Linda. She's behind them all. Thank God I didn't kill you. I'm sorry for everything. Can I go back to my hideout? You should tell him to, to, to leave this house now. Leave my life alone. I will die for you. Leave me alone. Mercy, Jesus. Mercy. You should go now. Go away. Eh? Leave my alone. After what you did to her. And after what you did to me in your house. You have come to bed. Eh? Franka, he did the same thing to me as well. Let's hear him out. Hear him out. Please. After you almost killed my daughter. It's okay. Jasper. Uh, Linda. What are you doing here? Please, it's important too that you are part of this. Oh, please sit down, please. I'm sorry. Please. Please. It's all right. Sit down, sit down first. Daddy, thank you. Thank you for sorry. Right, sit down. Sit, sit. Daddy. I have been a victim of a well thought out plan and a well scripted movie script. I was told that Nancy has a three-year-old son what? in an orphanage. I was also told that she is barren and that she can never have a baby. Jesus. What nonsense are you talking about, Jasper? You know what I'm talking about. What are you talking and about? The person who planned it all is Linda. Because you are the one who told me all of this. What? Yes, Linda is also responsible for the shooting and killing of, of I. Hey, Jesus. She knew Linda. Linda is supposed to be. Uh, uh, in love with them. Uh, uh, Linda! Hey. Linda! Come back here, Linda! Linda! Linda. Come back here, Linda! Back. Linda. Why are you running oh away? my God! <laughs> What our family is passing through today, many families pass through it as well. You don't have to kill yourself because of what happened. As for Linda, I've disowned her. Regarding the marriage, I think we should reconsider Jasper and let the wedding go on. After all, it wasn't his fault. It was the fault of an insider, your own sister, Linda. Mm -hmm. Daddy, please, please, don't even go there, please. I know how you feel, but our people say that the fowl should not be angry with the pot that was used in cooking it, but with the knife that was used in killing it, and the person that killed it. No, I disagree. My daughter will never get married to Jasper again. Never. Never. Franca. Franca. Jasper, you dealt with me. 
made my whole world crumble. You taught me what real love should be. And just when I was beginning to believe in you, you dumped me. I'm sorry. Truly, I'm sorry. How can I trust you? Just how can I? Please, Nancy, please. Please, I... Forgive me. It will never happen again. I'll make it up to you. I love you. I know you don't. You don't even know what that love, that word love means. You don't. I, you, you never believed in me. I told you everything about myself. But... I'm sorry, I've learned from my mistakes. I have. Forgive me. Marry me. Sorry, Jasper. Can't marry you. Please, please. Nancy, please don't run away from me. Please. Nancy, I'm sorry. Marry me and make me happy. I, I wouldn't be happy with anybody else. Can't you see? The future is bright for us. Let's forget about what happened and look towards the future with hope and everything because I love you. you. You're the very breath that I breathe. I mean, you're my inner soul. Please. I can see you're dressed up to leave My lady, give me your ears I'll say there's one time and one time only These things I say to you They never occur to me That all this time you were loving me I was loving someone else I be girl, it's unfair to you But if I can turn about a hang sometime I swear to God I'm a thing you'll be my wife when I say my wife, girl, I do mean you too Hey, yeah When I saw something kissing you the last night My eyes turned to red, I wanted you to fight But we can still make it together if you want You the love that will last us forever We've been friends and we can go a little further this time The picture of the road, we will never ever worry about being lonely no more I be here, my lady. You know, no say I don't call love for you, my lady. But even though say I never tell you, but not true what this be. Nancy has agreed to marry me, but Linda, Linda is pregnant for me. I am between the devil and the blue sea. But where? Is Linda? How am I sure that I'm responsible for her pregnancy? Or maybe, maybe she's just using that to, to hold me down. I don't think she's pregnant. Anyway, I'm going ahead to marry Nancy. Any which way, I will marry Nancy. Was your girl now? Do you know where you stand? Do you know where you stand? That's that one. We're not going to go. We're going to play a bit. 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 
Papiero que me gusta ver de vista. I'm just it. If you do anything funny, you're a dead man. Come to the vehicle. Come on, don't go on this Come to the vehicle. 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 Come to the Mama! But I move! You want to trust me, right? <laughs> uh, oh, Nochi. Yes. Where do you think Linda is? Well, I don't know. All I know is that she has ceased to be my daughter. We'll have to look for her. Franca, are you out of your mind? So you want to go and look for someone who has brought so much embarrassment and disgrace to this family? <sighs> but you see, I... Uh, if I see her here, I will personally hand her over to the police. Your daughter is wicked and a murderer, a sister's enemy. She's not my daughter, eh? Not yours. I'm my own. I've disowned her. <sighs> but I still insist I don't like this idea of Jasper. Coming here to come and was it not your daughter that caused it? Was it not Linda? Every little thing, my daughter, eh? Every little thing, my daughter. No matter what she has done, she is still your daughter, eh? Why did Jasper allow himself to be deceived? Even if Linda did it, any other person could do the same thing. And Jasper will behave the same way tomorrow. I think it's naturally weak. Since Nancy has decided to marry him, are you going to stop them? Yes, I will. Uh, Franca, what is important is our daughter's happiness. Let her be. Oh, no, Che, I don't think I, I don't want that marriage. Franca. I didn't want to bring this up before, but just as well that you mentioned it. I didn't buy you that car because I I 
wanted to win back your love. I bought that car for you because I wanted to show you how much more I love you now. I used to spoil you a little in the past, but now much more than ever, I, I want to let you know how much I love you. I love you, Nancy. But I need to ask you this because I've been feeling a little bit funny. Is your heart still with me? Wedding is close, and I have not seen that Jezebel Linda yet. My joy will be complete when I hand her over to the police. She planned the assassination of Ike. Who knows what she's planning now? Who knows? She might even use other people since I've made the police to arrest her gang. planning to even kill Nancy or me. What do I do now? I got it. I think we need police protection. Sounding very happy. What is it? What? Linda has been arrested? That's splendid. Yeah, he should have been arrested before now. I wonder why they are just arresting her now. Yes. They're supposed to have arrested her before now. Uh, I know. I know she's our daughter. But Linda committed a crime. She should have faced the law. Why am I sounding like this? See, Linda started playing the music. So let her dance to it. Yes. It's alright. No, no, stop crying. Stop crying. Yes, I'm coming home to be with you. It's okay. Mm -hmm. to marry Jasper and that's final. Nancy, you're not marrying that Jasper. I don't like him. Sister, to I is human, okay? But to forgive is divine. I've forgiven him. 
Oh, oh, oh. So because he bought you a car. And you're blinded by his so-called love? Nancy, look at me. I'm a woman. You know the love you have for him is not as strong as it was then. Or do you want to marry him at the source of so-called? Padita, don't you want me to be happy? Of course I want you to be happy, but not with that. It's already too late. What? If I agree to marry him. The wedding has not taken place. You can still change your mind. Jane. No! Sister, read my lips. I will never, what? Ever change my mind. In that case, I'm not going to be part of the wedding. Just count me out! The wedding will still hold with or without you. Nancy, you're walking out on me! Nancy, come back here! Yes. Be going. I want to wait for Padita's husband and the children. Okay. okay, let me go since I'm the one who is to match the girl to the other. I'll be there. Uh. <laughs> Just a few she hours away. What she, said. she said she's no longer interested. Just but I never wanted you to marry my sister. So Nancy, what are you doing? Listen to me. You never believed in me. I was deceived. You were deceived. Am I sure you won't dump me tomorrow when you come up with another story? Huh? I'm sorry, Chas, but you never believed in me. But he did. What, 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 I was deceived when we sorted this out. Goodbye. Daddy, I, I think you we're better. We're just a few hours away. Yes, I think you better Goodbye. take it as a man. Nancy! Goodbye. Goodbye. 
There's love between me and you I know if it wait Did they listen to it until they talk Baby girl, this they got on my brain Make you talk to me, girl Should I listen to them or should I know? Cause baby, if this love is true, girl Then I'll be no reason for me to be troubled The thing that I do here is that, girl That I'll be sharing you, girl, with someone else Me and just the look inside your eye I know, say, I know the lie I want to know Hey, are you me? Baby, if it's not so, I might as well be gone. Living in me, what can I do without you? You mean the whole world to me. I am dead without you. Belongs to 